Ooh, why did I do my research? <laughs> that has always been my kind of dream to become a professor. Uh, steadily work my way towards this goal. And uh, uh, before I know it, I'm a professor here in chemistry. <laughs> Actually, we didn't think about using our polymers as a therapeutic platform. Uh, we thought about using polymer uh, as a building block to make new materials, connecting polymers into a linear fashion. It turns out once you have the polymer and have a DNA conjugate to it, the DNA gains a superpower. It's now selected uh, in terms of binding. No longer binds with proteins, it still hybridizes to its target. Therefore, uh, this makes it very useful for therapeutic because in the, uh, in the disease, in, 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 for treating disease, these materials can interact with proteins inside your bloodstream, and that could lead to various side effects. Now, with our uh, sort of a polymer protective version, you uh, eliminate most of these side effects. Uh, you can imagine the construct as being sort of a, a sea anemone with a clownfish in it, the clownfish is the oligonucleotide, the DNA, the drug, and the C anemone basically protects that clownfish, and that's our uh, construct that, that we have been working on for the last 10 years. Well, we treat diseases that are really, really terrible. Uh, Tijon muscular dystrophy is a, it's a, a pediatric disease. The kids, uh, when they're uh, 15 old, uh, one year old, they look normal um, because they don't have to walk. Right, but by the age they started to learn walking, parents realized they can't walk. Uh, their muscle don't gain the strength. Uh, this is a, a terrible disease. The kids usually die uh, at a very young, very young age. Uh, the current drug for this disease is, is quite limited. You need multiple doses, very high dose, only to achieve a limited effect. We think our technology that's being developed right here in the lab can improve that. Uh, by a factor of uh, uh, 50 to 100 fold in terms of potency. So. Sometimes the gold, the good stuff, may not be what you anticipate. But if, if you think outside the box, right, this could actually be very useful. And that's, this is how we got there. Initially, we wanted to build these one dimensional super polymers. That wasn't probably very useful, but we realized each of the building blocks was going to have this selective the superpower I was talking about. So, um, you know, we sort of pivoted and we changed direction and turned out to be really, really useful. So when you see something that may uh, disappoint you, uh, this may actually be good stuff, right? Uh, well, this, this building itself, <laughs> we have, we have uh, engineers, scientists, chemists, uh, physicists, uh, computational people, uh, uh, engineers, bioengineers, uh, you know, all sorts of different uh, expertise right here in the building. Uh, we have the animal facility, like I mentioned earlier. We have imaging facility in the basement. Basically, you can you know, synthesize something in the lab and walk around this building and generate you know, papers and, and data that could be really, really useful. So I really enjoy having you know, all this expertise, all these uh, resources in the same, same place. We have a startup company called Pack DNA. Uh, the Pack DNA is trying to, uh, you know, develop the science and technology here into commercial uh, research. So the company is just starting uh, up commercial operation in Lab Central in Cambridge. We have one employee, but hopefully the company will grow uh, in the next two, two three years to five to ten employees. CRI helped us tremendously. Uh, all our patents are uh, with CRI. Uh, in, in fact, we prefer the patents to be with CRI. Uh, uh, the CRI, Katie is running this tremendous uh, program, uh, really vibrant program, helping us engage with uh, other entrepreneurs, uh, investing uh, with intellectual property people. Uh, we, and also, they provide us funding. So for the Tisha uh, muscular dystrophy research, uh, GRI is providing us with a SPARK award, which allows, allows us to uh, initiate uh, this research. Hey.